Welcome back to Chicago Cars Direct. Today we're going to take a look at the Mercedes-Benz R320 CDI Turbo Diesel. the hood of the R320, you're going to find Mercedes-Benz's familiar uh, three-liter diesel engine. Uh, it's turbocharged diesel, makes 215 horsepower, but almost 400 foot-pounds of torque on the low end. Uh, to drive a diesel, if you haven't driven one, the technology that goes into this is pretty amazing. They're not sluggish, they're very, very powerful, they're very quiet, they actually burn as clean as uh, gasoline engines these days, if not better. But uh, this is routed to a seven-speed automatic that is in turn routed to all four wheels. It's a really unique car, but really pay attention because this, this really has some cool features. Let's take a look. Let's take a walk around just to illustrate the condition. Uh, it really is in excellent condition. I don't even want to use the word excellent. I'm going to show the one blemish on the car and then point out the details, but uh, just a very, very light scuff on the surface here. Um, I might even be able to see if the boys could sand that down, but um, I mean, that's it. Everything else is uh, factory brand new. You can see you've got optional front park sensors that also pair along with the rear park. They're coming around here. We've got a 17 inch wheel here. Uh, these are Yokohama tires. They are really in great condition. Uh, I would say there's probably 60 to 70 percent of the tread left on here. Uh, 235, 65 R17s. Take a look down the driver's side. Just reflection all the way down is impeccable. No dings, scratches, any imperfections to note. Come around to the rear. See the rear park sensors across the bumper. Also, the proper R320 CDI badging. Uh, the CDI does signify that it is the diesel model. Uh, 4Matic is the nomenclature for the all wheel drive system at Mercedes Benz. But looking down the passenger side, it's uniform condition all the way around. Let's take a look inside. The R320 has a power rear hatch. Just hit the button on the remote, open right for you. There's also a button on the dash that'll activate that as well, but uh, you get the full set of floor mats in here, all in excellent condition. Middle row, back row, driver, passenger. Under the floor you're going to find the Harman Kardon subwoofer, a collapsible mini spare down here with the full uh, jack assembly. You have the front plate frame down there uh, if you should so need it. And then back up here, these are easy to fold and tumble. Literally just pull the uh, handle over here, they fold right forward. Take a look across the front seats, you'll see you got dual power fronts, uh, black leather, everything is really high quality. This is one of the cars that's really part of the new generation of Mercedes-Benz. They really stepped up in quality and just overall refinement. Uh, they were kind of getting hammered for a couple years there saying that they were slipping, but they really came back. Uh, this is one of those cars that represents it well, but very comfortable, low step in height. The visibility is fantastic, and I really do mean that. It is really fantastic. You sit low, but you feel like you're sitting up high. Just to show you how quiet the diesels are, just it doesn't really sound any different than your traditional Mercedes-Benz, but uh, it's really a heck of a feeling to uh, drive these diesels. The torque is unreal. It really makes it feel like it's one of the most powerful cars available. But great layout here. You got a uh, tilt and telescope steering wheel, so you're really not fighting yourself for uh, the best position. Uh, automatic headlamps over here. Uh, here you'll find your factory navigation system, and behind there. Uh, this is the DVD drive for the navigation, and you have an individual CD uh, player there. You can close that up. The navigation menu, uh, everything's built right in there as, uh, along with your audio system. Uh, dual zone climate up front here, and you do have a climate control function in the rear that's supplemented. Uh, ESP down here, electronic stability program. This will turn off the park assist, but you never really need to do that. Uh, CNS, that's comfort and sport mode for the seven speed transmission, which is a pretty unique shifter. Pull it down to put it in drive, push it up to go into reverse, press the button to go into park. It's that simple. Get in the back of the R-Class, completely drama-free event. Some very comfortable captain-style chairs in the middle here. Nice armrest, nice layout. I'm six feet tall, got a ton of room here obviously. But take a look above me. I really have glass from the front to the back of the roof in this car. It's Mercedes-Benz's panoramic roof. That's pretty remarkable. You can even fit a full-size adult in the third row.
cruising along behind the wheel of the R Class. Uh, it's just any R Class for that matter. Uh, the visibility and materials and everything fit and finish is awesome. Just the way it, the effort that goes into driving it is very, very little. Uh, so it's pretty rewarding from the sense of uh, being a comfortable long distance tourer type of car. But it's not huge, it's easy to park. You know, it's not uh, high step in height. All the refinement that you have in this car, I mean, it's just velvety smooth. Then you combine that with the diesel powertrain, which adds a little bit of a exotic element to the car, and a seven-speed automatic, and you have that that sound. Just listen, listen real quietly here. It's very, very faint, but when you want to hear the diesel, you can listen right into it. And to me, I'm a car nut. It's such a unique feature, and I'm so impressed with the power that this engine has and the smoothness of it at that, you know, it rivals any gasoline engine in just the torque delivery. But it's a, it's, it doesn't look like it, but it's a lot of fun to drive, believe it or not. It's a whole lot of fun. Probably my favorite feature, aside from the diesel engine in this car, is this panoramic moonroof. It's almost the entire pane of glass, but the sunroof does pop up and slide back. It's a very, very wide opening. It's probably the largest sunroof that I know of. But with the aerodynamics of this uh, this setup, you actually don't get much wind buffeting. As you can see as we take off, I mean, the, the calm is still restored at 40 miles an hour. We still have a nice subsiding conversation. What an awesome design. Mid-range power in this is pretty uh, spectacular. So once the turbo boost comes on, it really winds up and you can just kind of feel it push you back. It's pretty cool for something of this size, and it's such a unique feeling. But we're really cruising along here. I mean, it's almost ghostly quiet. These seats are very comfortable. You got an excellent stereo system in here with uh, Mercedes navigation built right in. Uh, the Harman Kardon stereo really is a phenomenal system. But uh, it doesn't take a lot of a lot of brain power to drive this car. It's very intuitive, very simple. Uh, the alignment's dead on. It drives like a brand new car. There's nothing about the driving characteristics that are any different than a brand new car. Dave and I discovered kind of a funny little thing here. You can pop the middle out of the cup holders here, and it actually expands the three cup holders wide. But under that, you've got two distinct bottle openers. So I don't know if that was factory sanctioned or if the engineers just popped that one in. But that's pretty cool. about the R-Class is that in the diesel form it's actually rated at 21 and 28 miles per gallon. So 21 city, 28 highway. That's remarkable for a car this size that has this capacity of seating. In my hand here I have a copy of the auto check history report. Uh, it's a one owner car. Uh, beyond that really no more information. It does qualify for uh, auto check buyback protection guarantee. And uh, the Mercedes-Benz warranty runs through March 17th, 2011, or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. That is the Mercedes factory coverage. But check out 60 pictures of this car online at our website. You'll find us at chicagocarsdirect.com. Also, check out our, our entire highlight reel. You'll find it on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for taking some time with us today. We'll see you soon.